So in every one of my tutorials, there's a reason why I just had never introduced myself and I just cut right to the chase. And that's because I realized that you're not coming to my tutorials to, you know, find out who I am. You're coming to learn whatever I have to teach. And I understood that. So that's why I have never talked about myself. I've never even mentioned my name. As a matter of fact, my YouTube channel is my name. So I guess I didn't have to even mention that. But I, now my YouTube channel is growing. And I kind of figure, you know what, maybe introducing myself and talking a little bit about where I've come from and where I'm at now will be motivating, inspiring, and will help you and maybe give you some confidence that what I am teaching you, I'm actually a legit full-time real estate photographer now. So let's go back five years ago. I was a personal trainer. I worked at a gym three years prior to that, and then I decided to go out on my own and become a self-employed personal trainer going to people's houses. That really wasn't cutting it. That wasn't paying the bills because even though I was charging a little bit more, you know, I was getting all the profit, and instead of having the gym take some profit, uh, you're driving to people's houses now. That's cutting out a lot of time out of your day, and you're not able to cram as many uh, um, clients in as one day. So that didn't really... <laughs> didn't really work well my brother-in-law was gifted a drone and that kind of got my the itch for a new business idea I thought well maybe I could take some aerial photos around my area we could sell them and that got me thinking well maybe I could start shooting aerial photos for realtors and doing their listing photos for them and then of course I thought well maybe if I get a camera I could start learning how to shoot the interiors and then doing some exterior photos and you know offering a full package and becoming a real estate photographer I didn't even really know if that even existed let's fast forward five years ago Pretty much to the day, around this time five years ago, I got my foot in the door, was able to start speaking at real estate agencies and talking to them after somebody else had give, gifted me a camera. I mean, I went through a season maybe of, you know, five or six months of practicing and learning, you know, how to shoot HDR. I, Flambient, didn't, I didn't even understand Flambient. I didn't even really understand what aperture meant. I mean, I was so foreign to photography at the time. I literally had to go to YouTube and study and practice and practice and practice and started throwing some of my work out there. A personal training client was a realtor. She let me shoot one of her listings. That got my foot in the door. And then, I, like I said, I went to speak at this real estate agency. I picked up another client through them and started shooting their listings. And actually, to this day, they're still using me for almost every one of their listings. They are uh, a big-time agency, or a real estate couple in this area. They do a lot of high-end listings, so they just use me for every one of their listings. I started out, grew pretty quickly. Um, I was still doing the personal training on top of the real estate. But then when this whole uh, COVID-19, I don't know if you've heard about that, uh, this virus swept the nation and it uh, put a lot of people out of work and one of them was basically me I mean I was going into people's houses nobody wanted me to come over to their house anymore so it was kind of like a um, a blessing in disguise really because I really didn't want to do the personal training anymore and so when I was starting to get busier and busier and actually during the year of 2020 is one of my busiest years I started in it was like 2018 2019 was a little bit busier but not super busy and then 2020 was when it really started taking off and when I when I really could look back and say okay Okay, actually now I am full-time I'm full-time whether I want to be or not because now I'm not doing the personal training anymore uh, the real estate by the grace of God really started picking up and I started getting busier and busier and then 2021 was even busier than that actually in 2020 is when I also for some reason <laughs> looking back I don't know why I had the guts to do this but started to do wedding film because I've always had a passion for video and I kind of got into the video with the drone doing aerial video only with the drone editing photos and that was really bad at first um, but that was I was able to start adding video to my real estate packages so that's why I, I actually started growing that way too and charging a lot more and again that just that bug of that desire and that passion of video just kind of took off and I started shooting just like home videos with my with my kids. We'd go on hikes and I started um, shooting videos with them and going back home and trying to cinematically editing them and just posting them on Facebook. You know, in, in a way I was doing that just for my own personal memories, but also to let, hey, look at, look at me. I am a, I'm a videographer now too. And so that ca caught on. A lot of my, not a lot of my income, because I'm really still new at the whole, um, 
uh, wedding film game and the reason I'm telling this is because can, can I survive just on my real estate photography salary yes but I grossed last year just under a hundred thousand dollars with only being in it five years and I would say maybe 15, 10 or 15,000 of that is from wedding film and you know sprinkling in you know family photos senior photos but I really want to stress this point if you really have a passion and you think uh, real estate photography is for you make sure that you're going full speed at that I want people to know that I am a real estate photographer and that's gonna give you credibility in the industry the biggest a uh, piece of advice that I can give is just make sure you practice a lot and you are constantly perfecting your skill because here's the thing once you are good I mean really good there's no stopping you I mean you have that skill that skill has to be obtained but once you have it no one can take it from you once you land that high listing job or with any it doesn't even really matter as long as you deliver really nice photos to the realtor and you have great customer service and you make all the other stuff easy you know the the dealing with them your your how you schedule is flawless how you build them is easy all that kind of stuff just be light and easy you know you don't want to be a burden to anybody especially when you're in the business for yourself I mean you got to take responsibility for every single thing and every part of your business so just be a pleasure to work with and I'm telling you business is gonna start falling into your lap it might not happen overnight but it will happen faster than you think and have a passion for it be teachable and be willing to perfect yourself be humble and work hard leave me a comment below let me know where you're at in the business are you are you just starting out or in your first couple years are you struggling are you struggling to get clients leave, leave me a message I want to help you I want to get to know you uh, YouTube is a community and I want to treat it like that I don't want to be some uh, some youtuber out there that puts all these videos out there and never responds to comments I really make an effort to respond to every single comment so I appreciate you taking the time if you made it this far in the video I sincerely appreciate it God bless and we'll see you in the next video guys bye bye